<laughs> Traffic jam, gondola style. They need road traffic lights here. We're stuck in Venice. We can't get out. <laughs> well, luckily we don't have to catch a train or anything. Oh, people! I see little thumbs up, people! Oh, 116. Jules. Hi, Jules! Good morning! We're in Venice. We're in a water taxi. And we're trying to get out, but we can't because it's a gondola pileup. Say, hello, gondolier. Uh, good luck with that. Oh, oh, careful. 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 Hello, Shimon and Chris and Susan and Claudine and what Lillian. What are these people doing up? I don't, well, I know. What's everybody doing up? The way there was Katie. There was a drive-by. What a bad thumb. Wait, helpful. See, everyone has to work together here, people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waving to the nice people <laughs> on, on the canal. Is this crazy or what? You can't even get through. There's so many gondolas. But we're making progress. Wait, a gondolier on his iPhone. <laughs> this is so funny. The gondoliers sit in their gondolas and on their iPhones the whole time. <laughs> Ciao, Jackie. We're moving. Going around to the front. Here we are, making progress. Whoops, sorry, I was trying to get this at an angle where I could read because it's so bright out here. <laughs> it is crazy. Oh, Michael's up and Pam's up and Kelly's up. Ah, look at this. Ooh. Now, if you hear a scream and then you see black, that's because I fell in the water. Don't hear the sea. <laughs> Standing up in the back of a water taxi getting ready to go down the Grand Canal. How amazing is this? Look! How cool! There's a water bus and more water taxis. Oh my gosh, look at this! yelling at my friends so they can come back here. Look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, wouldn't you love to, I would just love to rent one of these villas for a month. And I would eat pizza every day. Bellissima. There's our lovely water taxi driver who thinks that we're crazy but I'm sure he's used to crazy because he deals with tourists all the time off. Oh. Maria Tala Salute. Love that church. Beautiful villas. Isn't that amazing? Oh my god. There's, there, there's the water bus. Look at how beautiful. So evidently Venice is sinking about one to two millimeters a year, which is really sad. Yeah, and everything's on the water. All these villas, their main point of enter and exit is the water, which is why the streets are so narrow. But you can walk all over. I mean, they make, oh wait, okay, the mosaic on the front of that. One of my favorite mosaics on the Grand Canal. Beautiful gold mosaic on the front of the villa. I can't imagine how much it must cost to maintain these villas. Isn't that amazing? Lillian said, I want to go! <laughs> yeah, Tish is asking about sound. Oh wait, here's one of the museums. I went in that museum. Um, yeah, so right now we're just on an iPhone and there's going to be a lot of background noise because we're on the water. So it's probably not going to be the best sound, but 
that's okay. It's all about the lifting anyway. Isn't this amazing? See, look, we just live on the water. Everybody's got a boat. So I guess it's not like getting your driver's license for a car, because you don't need one here. But not many people actually live here anymore. It's so expensive to keep up all the, um, the properties. Oh, here's one of the bridges. This is the uh, Academia Bridge. It goes over to, I believe, the Academy, one of the famous museums, which is fabulous. You know what's interesting? They have four bridges going over the water here in Venice, and I believe this is the newest one, and it's the only one that's showing signs of wear. <laughs> All the other ones that were built in the 16th century and whatever are doing fine. But you know, one of the things that people were doing on this bridge is they were doing that padlock thing where you leave a, a padlock as a sign of your love. Don't do that. Um, if you love Venice or any other historical city, don't do that because then all the padlocks become so heavy they can structurally damage the bridge. And they came and put them all off the bridge. And they did that in, uh, in Paris as well, I believe. Ah, there's the Academy.
expensive to live here. And again, the super tides are really a problem. so many people in gondolas and gondolas are supposed to be so romantic and usually it's not romantic. Usually it's a family, it's a group. It's, I don't really see many people being romantic in a gondola. Oh see, look they gotta bring everything in. Look at the supplies. Supply boots. Isn't that wild? I'm kind of surprised that they have gondolas on the Grand Canal. It's kind of a highway. Oh here is the family car. <laughs> oh, here's the outdoor market. This is so cool. So this is a great little outdoor market. And they have all kinds of food, fruits and vegetables. Oh, hey, there's a trash barge. You see that big green? It's a trash barge. How cool is that? I have to get 
get out and see more things in Venice. I never have enough time. We went to St. Mark's this morning, so I wanted to show Katie the Palo de Oro in the back of the church, which is pretty astounding. Oh, look at this church. Isn't that the most amazing work of it? playing jewelry for the church. Oh, I love that church. One of the things I love about going to Italy is just walking around cities and wandering into random churches. I love that. gargoyles in some of the buildings too. I think they're amazing.
song if it's finished. <laughs> Come on, Katie, come on, come on, Katie, come on. Wave, Katie, wave. 